So hello guys, welcome back with another video of Salesforce Geek channel and this is the very first video of 2021. So wish you a very happy new year and as I told you that I'm going to create a playlist for Salesforce flows from basics. So if you are a beginner for Salesforce flows, you can refer to my Salesforce basic series. I assure you, you can learn Salesforce flows very faster. So without any delay, let's start with our very first video all about flow builder. So in this video, uh, I'm going to clarify some doubts. Like I came across a lot of people who think flows and flow builder are the same thing, but actually it is not. Let me clarify your doubt. Flow is an application inside Salesforce that automate business processes. Okay. Now, and flow builder is the tool with the help of this tool, we can create Salesforce flows. So final product is flows. It's okay. But the thing is the manufacturer, or you can say the tool we are using to create flows as a product is flow builder. So I, I hope this is clear to you and let's start about the flow builder in a very detailed way each and everything like what are the parts or what are the key elements of flow builder so without any delay let's start so if you want to navigate into salesforce flow what you have to do you have to simply click on this quick find and type flows here and click on flows And here you can see a new flow button from this button. You can simply create a new flow. So let's click on it. Now here you have uh, this kind of interface where you show that there are five kinds of flows you can choose to create. So currently in this video, we are just going to deep dive into flow builder. We are just uh, choosing a screen flow. And let me tell you flows are basic of two types screen flow and auto launch flow so we are not going into the details like what are these flows we just proceed with the screen flow let and click next and now after that you will see this interface how do you want to start building so basically uh, there are two ways of creating salesforce flow one is free form and second is auto layout so the thing is uh, in free form, you have to simply drag and drop things, but in auto layout, uh, structure is already there. You have to simply just put uh, and choose elements over there. So let's for now just choose a free form. So this is the very first view of flow builder. You can see like if you are a beginner, you can see this interface and in the very top part, you will see flow builder is written over there and just below the flow builder, you can see a strip uh, which containing a lot of buttons like run, debug and save. So basically this is called button bar. This is the first part you can say, uh, which is button bar. After that, you can see uh, there is a left hand section which is called toolbox. So toolbox is the second part of your flow builder and the third part is canvas canvas is the place where you can drag and drop elements from the toolbox to canvas to create flows now in toolbox you will see two tabs over there elements and manager so let me tell you about elements elements are the actions that you're gonna perform uh, in your salesforce flow so basically it will categorized into three parts which is interaction logic and data now what I mean by interaction, interaction as you know, it is clear, very clear with the word when you are interacting with the user, like you can see screen over there. So via screen, we can create form like structures like first name, last name, email, we can collect data from the user. Okay. Action, action is action is something like that. Uh, you have to send an email. So there are particular action in Salesforce flow with the use of these actions. You can send email directly to the user. Now the third one is subflow subflow is like that. I can say repetitive task. Let's say you have to send an email to a person. You create a flow for that. Now what you have to do, uh, you are creating an another uh, flow where you also want a form to be filled by the user and then the form input is sent to the customer or you can say user so you can use this subflow in your current flow 
the benefit of the subflow is that you don't have to write the same logic of that sending email to the particular user in your current flow. I hope this is clear to you. Now we came to the second part of the elements which is logic. Now logic containing three elements over there. Assignment, decision and loop. Assignment is basically something like uh, you are putting something into something. Like uh, you are having a uh, box and you are putting apple into the box. So it is called assignment into the box. So that's called assignment. For example, in a simple manner you can say you are having a variable a and you are assigning a value 5, 5 to it. So a equals to 5. Now decision. Decision is something like that. Uh, uh, you have two, two conditions true or false. If this condition is true, then I have to go to this part and if the condition is false, then I have to move this part. So, okay. So, it will decide whether my condition and whether my flow will move. Let's say uh, I am having a, a contact and on that particular contact, I am choosing a condition like if my contact having an account, then I have to perform some other logic and if my contact does not have any account, so I have to perform another logic. So with the help of decision, we can simply uh, rotate or you can say transform our flow to the other situation. Now loop, let's uh, uh, with the help of loop, let's say I have a particular account and on that particular account, I have five contacts. Now you want that uh, you want to calculate the sum or you can say a particular field on those contacts of that particular account. So you have to loop over all the contacts like say 5 then you have to run your flow loop 5 times just to track and see all the inputs of your contact. So that's all about logic. Now we are going to talk about data. So as you can see here create record, update record, get record and delete record. So I am going to show, uh, let you know uh, about all these in detail part but uh, just for an overview I will let you know about this create record is just creating record into salesforce org from salesforce flow update record is something uh, you are going to update in salesforce flow uh, like particular record get record is something fetching record from your salesforce org and delete record is something deleting uh, some record from your salesforce org so uh, that's about elements now I am going to talk about the second tab which is of manager. So you can see uh, here is a button which is called new resource. If you click on it, you will see resource type. So if you click on it, you can see variable, constant, formula, text template, choice, record choice set, stages. So these are the data type. Like let's say you can, you have to provide a value 5. Let's say a constant. You have to set that constant a particular value 5. Then what you have to do, you have to simply select a constant over there and provide the API name, let's say A, B, C, anything. And then you have to select the data type. So if you are assigning a 5 number to a particular A variable or A constant, then you have to select number over there. So it is something like that. So just for an overview, uh, you can understand resources that you can use resources in your salesforce flow where you want to use it uh, in any terms like stages, uh, choices or variables so something like that. Now let me tell you about canvas or connectors. Now I am uh, let me tell you about the uh, third basic element of salesforce flows uh, basic connectors. Let's say I am dropping a screen onto the canvas. So let's say I am providing a label screen one and API name is this and simply click done. Now what I have to do, I want uh, from the starting of my flow, I want to show the screen one. So what I have to do, I have to simply put my mouse over this button dot and simply drag it to the this dot. So as you can see, the both these elements are connected and Whenever I am going to save my flow, I simply going to see this in screen. Okay, so basically this will uh, define the flow of your flow.
like uh, where you uh, where your flow logic will move i hope uh, this video uh, will clear all your doubt regarding flow builder if you have any kind of doubt uh, or anything you have confusion with the flow builder overview you can simply comment in the in the video thank you so much if you watching this video till now and stay tuned for the second video which is of type of flows